Hi everyone, I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Seas of the World community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us today, October 28th, Friday. And on this day is a feast day. It's a feast day of Saint Simon and Jude Apostles. The name of Saint Simon usually appears 11th in the list of the Apostles. Nothing is known of him except that he was born at Cana and is surnamed the Zealot. Saint Jude, also called Thaddeus, was the Apostle who asked the Lord at the Last Supper why he had manifested himself only to his disciples and not to the whole world. We find it in the Gospel of Saint John, chapter 14, verse 22. So two apostles on this day, Simon and Jude, two men that gave their life for the love of Christ. First reading today, as it is a feast day, our special readings from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 19 to 22. Let's get started with the reading of the Word of God for today. We are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, where Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In Christ, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a passage very common for feast day of the apostles. Why? Because Paul is saying, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints. You and I, we are not strangers nor aliens. We are citizens of heaven members of the household of God. The apostles, they opened the door for us. They were sinful men that said yes to the call of God, to the call of Jesus Christ in their life and went on to proclaim the good news. And then they died as martyrs. They gave out their life for the love of us, for the love of the entire church, for the love of humanity. That's why we are citizens now of the saints, with the saints. We are members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Apostles and prophets are a foundation to our faith, a foundation to all that we live, having Jesus Christ himself as the cornerstone. Having Jesus Christ himself as the cornerstone. In Christ, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In Christ, we become a dwelling place of God. The apostles showed us that it is possible for weak people, a weak person, to serve God and to go to the end serving God. Responsorio today, Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of, to the, end of the world. Their voice and their words go out into the end of the earth. The proclamation of the apostles went out to the end of the earth. And in the Gospel from St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 12 to 19. Jesus went out to the mountains to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when they came, he called his disciples and chose twelve and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles. Simon, son, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, 
son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judah the son of James, and Judas Cariot, who became a traitor. Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. These multitudes had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out from him and healed all of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus went out to a mountain to pray. And he spent a night in prayer. And after that, out of his disciples, those who followed him, he chose the apostles. Apostle means to be sent. So among the many men who was following him, who were following him, he chose 12 to go where he wanted to go and to send him out to go through all the earth to proclaim the good news. And then he starts with Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, and so on. And the list goes on. Jesus came down and stood at a level place and with this with a great crowd he continued the preaching he continued to cure the people the people could listen to the word of god and to touch jesus and see jesus and be healed by jesus and the apostles were there to give jesus to help jesus and to give their entire life to him that's why we can celebrate and we are called to celebrate the apostles. Simon and Jude on this day. Apostles that we don't know much about their lives like Peter, John, Paul, James. But we know that they were faithful to the end. May the Lord bless us today and give us the grace that the apostles had to be faithful to the end. Even if we fail, even if we are weak, we can remain faithful to the end. Amen.